I'm super excited, guys. I'm so excited because tonight, tonight is the night we sit down and we plan what we are growing next year. As some of you guys may know, we have been teasing little secrets about what our plan is for next year. Well, I'm gonna tell you now, Han and I are swapping what we grow with Tilly. We're gonna grow everything she grows and she's gonna grow everything we grow. It's going to be quite an experience and do you know what? It's going to be a brilliant learning curve. So come along for the ride guys. It's going to be a good one. I'm here at Tilly's Plot and I've just finished building these rather nice and extremely sturdy compost bins for her. She's needed them for a very long time now. I have actually done a tutorial on how to build these the correct way. I've seen on YouTube there's a few people that have done them and they're mm, questionable builds but this is the right way, the best way and the most sturdy way of building them. If you want to become a channel member and I'll put this in at the start of the video for a change please consider doing so. It costs less than a packet of seeds each month and you can see all sorts of behind the scenes videos I've got a step-by-step -step guide on how to build this thing. We've also got nature walks, a bit of behind the scenes family life as well, secret behind the scenes allotment family stuff. So follow the link in the description and please do sign up and thank you to our existing channel members. Anyway, enough rabbiting on about that. So what we are gonna do now we've finished this beast is start the video by heading home for the day rather than coming up here. It's normally like the morning when we start filming and then end of the day for the video to finish but no it's about three o'clock in the afternoon now this is done I'm going home and I'm gonna take you guys with me let's go here we are back at the house allotment family diary house and obviously Tilly's here and Han's here as well mm. <laughs> <laughs> right so what are we doing um, so what we're doing is planning who's going to grow what this year. We're going to swap over, basically. Yeah. Because mm. it'll be a good, a good learning curve for all of us, won't it? Mm. Really. Yeah, it will, and it'll give the ground a rest from growing certain things, won't yeah. it? Yeah. The only thing I think's not going to change is the polytile. Yeah, I think we are still going to be growing tomatoes and chilies in our polytunnel um, and maybe a few other bits we'll, we'll see, maybe cucumbers mm. um, and I guess you're yeah. going to do the same? Yeah probably, I mean mine's smaller anyway so yeah to a smaller extent. Yeah yeah so we'll keep the polys the same um, so what we'll do we'll go through the the plots we're going to start off with mine and hands now we've got this whiteboard here that um, last night I spent like an hour drawing all the plots out and we will write what we're growing in each of the plots and you can see it up on the screen and we, we just write it on here. Yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. We actually did something similar last year, didn't we? And it worked quite well, actually. Yeah, we did the same thing we did with mm. this whiteboard, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, yeah. So what we'll do, we'll go for the, obviously like the crops that we're we're growing the varieties. Um, we've got a seed catalogue. We've got a seed catalogue. Hannah's modelling the seed catalogue. Yeah. So this one, there's a, a chap on our allotment site who gives out a catalogue and he puts in like a big bulk order of seeds uh, each year. And is it 50% off we get on seeds? Yeah, it's, it's either 40 or 50. Yeah. Mm, but anyway, you save a lot of money. Yeah, so it, it's worth it's worth doing. So what we'll do, like I say, we'll just write down like onions or squash or something. If you guys have any suggestions for varieties, mm. let us know in the comments. Yeah. Bearing in mind we are in the southwest of the UK. I'm not sure what zone that is. I looked it up once, but I can't remember. Yeah. I, I don't know. But yeah, we've got sort of um, quite a temperate climate haven't we really yeah um i think we've already decided which variety of potatoes we're going to grow next year yeah um, worse, i hope yeah <laughs> <laughs> 
had actually someone suggested a variety on our site and showed you one of the potatoes. It was huge, wasn't it? Yeah. As a main crop. We're not actually going to bother with um, new potatoes. No, no earlies this year. We're no. just going to do main crop. Mm. Um, oh, also, just a warning if you hear background noise, it's probably a dog mm. walking around, clipping and clopping. Mm. Oh, and it's also bonfire night, so if you hear bangs, that's what that is. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right, so, um, like I say, yeah, leave comments uh, if you have any varieties you'd like us to grow. If they're in the catalogue, then yeah, maybe we will give it a grow. <laughs> Making use of the side camera. Oh. Right. <laughs> 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 Ham just looks thoroughly disappointed at my dad jokes. Yeah. Okay, so we'll start off with our plot. Um, we've got the polytunnel. We're doing tomatoes, chilies. Yeah, same sort of thing. Shouldn't you put the that's a polytunnel then? Oh my god, yeah. What are we going to do? Rude of me. Do some different tomatoes this time, aren't we? Yeah, so any tomato suggestions? I still want beef tomatoes though. I really like, enjoyed those. Mm, they Definitely were quite successful, beef. weren't they? Yeah. yeah, they were nice. Yeah, mm. they were really nice. And the cherry tomatoes. Mm. Yeah. And we're not doing the hot lemon chilies. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. No. No. I am going to overwinter some of the chilies. I'm going to overwinter the Cuban black and perhaps some of the Thor F1, but we'll, we'll see. Anyway, so polytunnel, okay, that's fine. Let's move on to, so we have this big plot here where this year we had our main crop potatoes. Yeah. Valor and Maris Piper. It's a nice big space isn't mm, it? it is yeah. it's a nice chunk actually yeah much bigger than the um than where i grew my sweet corn this year <gasps> and there's oh. a spoiler we're growing sweet corn in this <laughs> yeah. one yeah. <laughs> so we've got green manure growing in this you've probably seen it from a, a past vlog uh we've got the green manure so yeah we're going to go for corn aren't we mm. yeah yeah because we, we really like our corn for the past two years it's been really successful and it's quite yeah. nice. And we should be able to grow a fair amount. Mm. But I can't wait because honestly, it's going to look like a ranch. <laughs> it is, this, this area. And I would love to do a bit sat playing my banjo with a, a straw <laughs> hat whilst the corn's there. And, oh, dear, that'd be fun. With the cat walking. With Chase. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's Chase mm. rolling in the corn? Yeah. So, and we'll probably grow, go for the same variety, won't we? Was that incredible? Yeah, yeah. Unless um, you guys have a... And it was incredible. Yeah, it yeah, was. it was. Yeah. It's quite easy to grow, quite straightforward. Very nice. It was delicious, wasn't it? It was very sweet. Mm, really sweet. Yeah. And actually, people say they have loads of trouble on our site with the crows pecking at the cobs and things, don't they? But we didn't seem to get any. No. I don't think I had one. You well, honest. you didn't. We probably no. Didn't. <laughs> yeah, no, no. The site's a bit more open, yeah. Bing and bong will just like destroy yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Right, so we got corn there. Um, so if we move up to, we have two raised beds. So one of them, as you guys know, we did the uh, 100 weight pumpkins. Yeah, we won't be putting pumpkins there again. <laughs> took, off, took over half the plot. Yeah, not those anyway. Um, we are going to do pumpkins. They're not there. Mm. We're going to do zombie pumpkins. Yeah. What do yeah. they look like? Ugly. Well, they are <laughs> zombies. They look very gnarly. Yeah. Mm. But apparently they taste them. quite nice, apparently, don't they? It's supposed to be quite nice roasted. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because we have loads of soup, don't we? And roast yeah. vegetables mm. and stuff. Hannah made some really nice soup and it was slightly curry flavour. Oh, the pumpkin soup, with yeah. Pumpkin you kind of have to yeah. do it with pumpkin. And you made a pumpkin pie, didn't you, for the girls? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I didn't get to eat any. Yeah, well. girls, as not in the chicken girls, Flo and a friend. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, pumpkin pumpkin soup, there's a members vlog uh, if you want to check that one out. Didn't make channel membership. <laughs> plug, plug, plug. Right, so um, we, originally we wanted to do like edible, well, you wanted to do edible flowers, so I like, why don't we do one of these beds of edible flowers like we were going to? Yeah, it's just. Everything kind of caught up and we completely forgot about yeah. the edible flowers. Plus, it would be nice to have more flowers because obviously more bees. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. But yeah, um, edible flowers. 
So, I mean, we could still do, like, the zombie pumpkins in one of the raised beds, because they're not as big. Yeah, you I mean, sure? with edible flowers, you've also got other options, haven't you? So, like, um, like we've got the um, the old compost bins, mm. and we're, we're cutting them. You could always put the old one of those somewhere that you've got the space and just put some edible flowers in there. I don't think so you've got the space anywhere now. <laughs> well, I don't know. I wanted to put all the edible flowers all to kind of... Did you? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Sorry, because I wasn't forget. I, I reckon yeah. use one of those beds for, for edible flowers. And then at the moment, we'll pencil in zombie pumpkins. Are you sure you want to put pumpkin? Because I know they grow small, but it's all the vines. Are you sure you want I Why to have pumpkins there again? Yeah, I, I mean, don't know. I we could don't fit know. pumpkins. Don't forget, we're supposed to be swapping. So we could fit some on Good my point. block. Yeah. That is true. You're going to make me a couple of raised beds, aren't you, in the winter? Well, I'll tell you what, let's put um, let's put the Ed flowers here, just for now. Well, they, they can probably stay here, actually. Um, edible flowers, but we've got a spare bed next to it. I mean, you could potentially do both, couldn't you? No, I, I'd like to, I like keeping like some of the raised beds free in case we randomly want to do something yeah you know. yeah i mean you um, could put one there and then one down there let's, let's keep two. it keep it free for now um you can always swap it around and then if we move across we've got the bench there we've got the the compost zone uh we have the outdoor paddock um, i haven't drawn this on but in here for the doggies yeah we had the um, sugar snap and one too i think we should do that again because it's a nice place or sunflowers I would like to do sunflowers. I know, mm. okay, fine, you know, it's more for looks, but the sunflowers are really good for the chickens. Yeah, definitely. Mm. But you could, could you not fit like both in there? Could the sunflowers not kind of go in between the beans? You could do, yeah. Yeah, you could do like a few a few beans, then sunflowers. Because I was thinking like doing a proper, like giant sunflowers. So they tend to be like more height rather than spreading, yeah. if that makes sense. Mm. Well, let's go for that. Let's just put like. I don't beans. know if that will work. Any, you know, leave a comment if that might not work. I don't know if yeah. it might not. Yeah. Gel together or whatever. Beans F, F S flow. That again, you'll see it on the diagram as we're doing it. Um, so then we've got the trees here. We're going to keep that as it is. So we've got two cherries and two figs. Um, then we have the uh, ornamental flower bed, which that's going to stay as it is. Uh, and the roses. Yeah, so you've got, coming down, you've still got things that will help the pollinating insects and things as well, haven't you? To yeah. hold them down through your plot. Well, that's what we've tried to do, is like either end mm. and middle. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, cre creaky bench. <laughs> if you keep hearing creaking. <laughs> um, right, so here we have the garlic. And then this whole bed, that's, what is it like, is it June that we Yeah, about, we pick them? about then, well, depending on the weather, obviously. I was oh, so really. disappointed with my garlic because it was looking brilliant all over the winter, wasn't it? And then yeah. it must have been that bad weather because they just got so stunted. I think it was all the rain. Yeah, and I was feeding them and everything. Although maybe try feeding them with the... Um, chicken poo tea. Yeah, I'm doing liquid seaweed for them as well mm. once a week. I just thought, so garlic, but there's two different types of garlic, isn't there? Mm. Yeah, there is elephant garlic. Elephant garlic. garlic takes longer. So apparently that can take up to two years, so I've read. Really? So that that's like the middle of this bed. Mm. It's like elephant garlic. So I don't know, we can, once the, the other garlic is pulled up, you could put something else in there. How about leeks? Belongs to the same family. Oh, yeah, because... No, be you, can't, you be can't put leeks in there together. Well, the, it's only the middle bit that's got the elephant garlic. So it would just be like that. Yeah. And um, then you've got either side. Right. Okay. Now, some people on the site... I grow my leeks obviously from seed and I usually put them out when they're sort of like a thin pencil yeah. size um, and mine went out probably about the end of April mm -hmm. and so yeah that would be yeah yeah and yeah. Um, 
they're really quite big now. Other people put theirs out later and I had a sort of a look around comparison and most people's aren't very big. Well, what we can Whereas do... We harvest them in the winter, don't we, the leeks? Let's leave that because don't forget, we've still got to do yours. Yeah. And yeah. then if there's anything missing, we can mm. come back to it. Yeah. Um, this plot here, so this is the one that we currently have our beetroot in. So we've got like the golden bees and the, um, the Detroit bees. Um, at the front, we've got uh, four purple sprouting broccoli, I believe, um, but they'll be coming up soon anyway. Well, early next year, mm. according to yeah, the person I'm... that gave them to me. I think squash. Yeah, because we have mm. to grow squash, don't we? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's a nice big patch. Yeah, you'll you... have a, um, be able to get a few plants in there. Yeah, so squash. Definitely. Do squash like a lot of sun? They, well, they do, yes. And they're quite greedy feeders and greedy waterers. Squash. They, they should be okay, it, it's fine. Mm, Normally, it's a good spot for them there. Just up, like the top couple of rows, it, mm. it doesn't get as much sun because you've got like the shade of the the shade of the shed. But so it's, it'll be enough, won't it? Because we, I think it'll be right. we get a lot of sun for pretty much most of the day on our side. Don't we? Also, you can like plant the squash lower down and like train the vines upwards. Yeah. So mm. you're not actually doing the squash up here. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you can. Right, so then this one, um, I forgot actually, because we're going to have a path going right through the middle of here, which yeah. needs I'm to be wood chipped. Just thinking about, I don't think that's big enough place for the leeks. Because we have lots of well, leeks, we and we get through one leaks. half, one half of leeks. Then why don't we go for this half, which I did the first batch of green manure? If you guys have seen that vlog, so over here we have all the green manure, so we could do the leeks in that whole patch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why? yeah, I think so. Because we all we like our leeks, don't we? We use them a lot. Yeah. So obviously. <laughs> Leeks, we have to do onions as well, don't we? Then because you did onions, so we could do onions yeah. to go there. Onions and mm. all next to it. Yeah. yeah, they're all right together, like yeah. one near each other, so because same family kind of thing. Mm. And then, do you want to grow parsnips? Because I've, I usually have fairly successful crop. <sighs> okay, I tell you where we could put the yeah. parsnips. The parsnips could go there because yeah, the tops. Because... What well, um, we can't do the swede anyway because we grew that because we went to be swapping. Yeah. Um, because also the Swedes tops go really big and they cover that, but the turnips aren't as big, are they? Well, potentially. Parsnips, parsnips sorry. Um, <laughs> we could do them in one of the uh, the raised beds. So we've got the moolie in this one over here. You could do them in a raised bed. That would be good as well. What? The parsnips? You, yeah, you could do like parsnips in this raised bed and the one that we've got the moolie, and then you could do extra parsnips in the ones either side of the garlic. Mm, you could do. It depends what else we've got to swap around with. We might mm. need space for other stuff. So, well, let's do onions. So if we go back to here, so this is the one where we currently have the uh, Brussels sprouts and the black magic kale. That's mm. in this bed here. So we'll do the onions there because mm. they'll be done soon anyway, those, those plants, won't Yeah, we? and to be honest, onions that you can get quite a, a bit in, really. Yeah because they're so like shallow rooted and, and stuff, you can grow them reasonably close to each other. So should we do like half red, half white? Yeah, yeah, half red, half white. So well, I'll just do it so you know. So red and then white and we can change if we need to. Mm. Um, so going back to here, we've got the wild garden, which we are just gonna do like an update on, aren't we? We're gonna kind of refresh it and mm make it nice and in there in this growing frame where we have the carrots um it needs a bit of repair work oh, because the birds have they've been pecking at the roof um but watermelons because it's perfect for it or melons yeah yeah try them maybe not watermelons just normal melons yes try the normal yeah. melons Let's try it again yeah because I was so happy that we just got one you know it was, yeah it was pretty cool yeah because in yeah. the end I had two in quite a nice space and I'm not really sure what happened. I think they did it too, I think they were too late. Yeah, I think it got too cold. Sudden, they started to rot, didn't they? Yeah, I think it got cold Bizarrely. and, um, and it, there was a lot of rain. Because mm. your mm. melons didn't actually start growing and forming until a lot later than Yeah, ours. it took ages, didn't it? Mm. Mm. So going back to here, so 
next to the paddock, the main paddock, and then we've got the shed. So here we've got the herb garden. We're going to leave that on. We, we, because, you know, the herbs are like established. We're not going to change that up. Yeah. Um, um, so we have a bed there and a bed there. So at the moment it's looking like zombie pumpkins. If we do them, have to go in one of those. Right, and potentially that's parsnips. Before, what else is missing? What else do you normally grow? crops. Well, that's fine. Polytunnel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So is there anything else that you normally grow um, that we have to grow? I mean, we don't have to do everything that you do. I mean, no, 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 you don't. You could do some different. I was just thinking if there's anything like, you know, that we yeah. would miss mm. if it wasn't grown. Well, I mean, I've got cabbages in the polytunnel now that I only put in like a month or so ago. So are they growing? Yeah, they're doing really well. Really? Yeah. Here's just a shot. Stay cabbage. Here's a shot of that now in the polytunnel. <laughs> um, I mean, I would still, I would still like to grow pumpkins as as well. Because they are fun. And Flo likes them, doesn't she? Yeah, but maybe put them in a different place then to yeah, I just re <sighs> refresh the well, you could, ground. You could do it in... I just in, don't in know. I just don't know if they need more space because, like, the vines no, are the, ridiculous. Yeah, but look at the hundredweight pumpkins and, like, you know, I know the vines went everywhere, but these won't be as big. Yeah, now the thing is that, because you only grew two, didn't you, and they were huge, well, what about... We could try this as an experiment, another experiment. Um, I could have one on my plot as well, but in one of the cut-up compost things, because they're really deep, so they've yeah. got a lot of compost in them, a lot of goodness, and they could be fed. And then I can train, the because I've got the, the big bit opposite my shed, I can just train it to run along. Yeah, or, or do a pumpkin arch. Oh, <gasps> I want to do a pumpkin arch. I was on about that a while ago, don't you? Yeah, but you have to do well, like them. Do you remember that I did one a few years back with those long trumpet ones? Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, we're, we're going through like these bits here and deciding what we're going to grow, but things might change, mm. you know, but I think as long as we have an idea of yeah. the things that we'll need to go in. Yeah, and then staples, as we call them. Yeah, and then the little bits along the way we can oh, just change. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put the zombie pumpkins over there because we've had pumpkins over there before and yeah I, right. we'll, yeah. we'll just put pump there for now mm -hmm. right so we've got one bed spare um i honestly reckon parsnips i, I think really because you grew the pumpkins there was it on that side it or that side it was that one i mean we can switch yeah swap them over you know, just for... Flowers here, pumpkins yeah, there. Yeah, it's okay. literally just for not using the same crop twice. You know, on the paddocks, how about instead of having like edible flowers in there, just have them in like the hanging things that go on the side. Hanging baskets. I, it not be the hanging baskets, but like the, you know, you can get those little side like things. Like we have the strawberries in. Yeah. Yeah, but it would be nice to have like a whole bed just full of like flowers because mm. then it's good for like bees, isn't it? Bringing them in, especially with pumpkins, like you want them to nice pollinate. To, nice to sit next to as yeah. well. Yeah, oh. no, I, I mean, I know they say that nasturtiums are, um, you can eat nasturtiums and I've got them everywhere. I just, I don't like the taste. But you bought me a book for Christmas mm. and I still haven't studied it. So mm. that's what I was going Yeah, gonna... good idea. Because then I can still grow the odd ones as well. Oh, if you yeah. want them that haven't on my plot in odds and you know but also nice. it's not just edible flowers it's like because i still haven't done it again because we've been busy i haven't done it this year but i wanted to like make my own like lip balm yes. and, and stuff yeah. out of like petals and, and stuff yeah. And yeah i haven't had a chance to do that this year so i'm really mm. hoping that next year we can mm. do some more, yeah like, make our own shampoos and stuff like mm. that yeah get yeah. more into it yeah Okay, so we've I put the parsnips there. Okay. Um, and then we can also put parsnips mm. in this bit if we need to. We can swap things um, around if we're not happy in a minute. Yeah, right. So I'm happy with like the, it's, it's these things that are the main ones, isn't it? Mm. The big things. Yeah. Mm. Right, so that's ours done. Um, and I think we will flip the board around now and we will look at Tilly's plot. So. Thank you if you're still watching. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Bit of um, mm, yeah. bit of discussion, isn't it? For, yeah. Yeah. What we're doing. Mm. Right. Let's like, flip. subscribe, spread the news, <laughs> spread the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> we just had a quick break, and I've got a puppy. 
Oh, you baby. Okay, right, I've got it. Okay, so that's the top half and that's the bottom half, but it's just mm. done in a different way. Yeah, yeah. so okay. because obviously restrictions of the whiteboard. So again, I'll put uh, diagrams up so you can see this on the screen. This is the mm. top of Teddy's plot and that's the bottom. So really that half should be down here. Right, okay. Where Taurus. Mm. Right, okay, I'm, I'm there. Oh. Right then, okay, so the first thing are the potatoes, because i am already decided they're going to go on the biggest section, which is actually this one, okay. opposite the shed. So we've got the, the three um, old compost bins that have been, they, they've just basically been cut in half or thirds or whatever, and they've got carrots in them at the moment, haven't they, Christmas yeah. carrots? And then there's quite a big long patch here that at the moment I've got parsnips at the end and this is all covered because it had onions which have come up and, <laughs> and um, been stored now. So, so are you going to do carrots in there again? I think because it's, it's set up to do carrots really I think you should. Yeah because so I can always bins. put you know lots of new compost and stuff in there. Um, and you have that nice raspberry yeah, it's... Um, no, we don't know the variety, do we? No, we don't. But it started off, there was just one when I took over the plot. And they are absolutely delicious, actually. Yeah. And they've spread now, so I'm just going to leave them there, to be honest. So here, the potatoes, uh, we are going to grow a variety called Java, which make huge potatoes. Uh, one of the guys at the yeah. end, he showed one to us that he had grown. Uh, and apparently they keep growing in the ground after the plant has died off. So he said, be careful of that. Yes. And, potatoes. and these two, like, will eat jacket potatoes until the cows come home. I know. So we love tonight, them. don't we? Mm. <laughs> we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're having one for dinner tonight. Yeah. Um, is this the polytunnel? Yeah. Yeah, so that's your polytunnel. I've got the polytunnel. Um, yeah. You've got your, like, it was a cold frame in this corner, wasn't it? Mm. But, I mean, we can rebuild that. Yes, I think it is due for a rebuild, really. And then there were ra uh, strawberries here, which I no longer grow. And I, I've got runner beans at the moment, which... Um, they weren't that successful, were they, really? So runner beans and French beans and things. Let's, I'm just going to put gone. Tor down. Say, say bye, Tor. It's that camera over there. <clears throat> no. Do you want to go, and go to sleep? Go then. There, here, there actually is um, a small row of everlasting spinach, I think it's called, that we've been using in salads and things, and also the chickens love them, so any that have been decimated by slugs, I just chuck in for the chickens. So that has to stay. And I'm, yeah, I'm just going to leave that and see if it will carry on growing. It okay. looks a bit like chard, green chard. Well, let's think about the crops that we've grown and mm. what, what we can what's what we the next do. biggest one that we grew. So the beets. Yeah. Because so we, we love our beets. So mm. We've got a fairly good sized one for that one because we do want a lot of orange beets. What about um, the, where the leeks are now? Because that's quite a big spot. Yeah, because they like a lot of sun. Um, and that's the chickens. And again, it's like the onions, so we'll do the golden and the red beets because mm. the, yeah. the Detroit number two is really nice. So, that one. Yeah, and what I'm doing at the moment is um, as we're using the, the leeks and things, um, I'll eventually, I'll cover it before the end of the season with chicken poo and straw and bits like, like that from the um, chicken run, actually, so it's going to give it a good fertiliser and then yeah. come the spring it will be well ready. So uh, potatoes, Beets, um, sweet. Oh yeah, sweet. Sweet. So, I'm I'm kind of thinking, really, because I mean you don't need a, a ton of sweet, do you? No. We, we, I, we no. Too much. And I think, I think we probably pulled them a bit too early because they weren't very big. We could leave so them, couldn't we? You could even. I mean, I was thinking the one underneath the apple trees near the pond. Mm. I mean, you could even like just split it in half and do like Swede and something else. That's actually quite a decent, it's a bit deceiving looking at it a little like this, but it's quite a decent size little yeah. Bit, yeah. bit there, isn't it? So we'll put Swede. And then, yeah, you could split it. 
Yeah, if you, yeah, if you want. We'll yeah. leave that like that for the moment. Yeah, I'm just wondering what these two are then. Right, that's your little... Blueberry. Where you had the melons. What about your blueberries? Oh, I see. And that's yeah. where your cabbages are. Yeah, yeah, I see, yeah. Where's the blueberries? So the, the blueberries are permanent. So, yeah, so the blueberries are here. Yeah, this so one. they're... They've got their own, and, yeah. it, and the amount of um, acid stuff I put in there because they level their acid feed and things. It um, be, and that's herbs. Yeah, so that's permanent as well. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Now, now I know what's, what's what. So, yeah, I, Muli, I mean, Muli's nice. We're not, it's fun to grow, but I, we're not eating it, are we? Mm. So, I don't really think there's any point in. In that, I mean, I like it. That's tall clipping. <laughs> Maybe we just haven't found a good way to cook it. Yeah, that's your job, you're the chef. I'm not a chef. But <laughs> make it, maybe we can put them okay. in one of the odd... Because I've got an, another compost bin after Tom has just made me my permanent compost bins. Maybe the one that's left we could like cut in half and have it for moodies because it's really deep. Plus it would yeah. be there. That might work better. Mm. But let's keep it as a reserve crop. Yeah. What are these ones here? I forgot. Um, they're the new beds. That but we are going to build. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The right, that's beds. where they're going. Okay. The raised beds. So, um, but you've got rhubarb in that one, and that's a oh, permanent feature, isn't yeah. it? It is really, and um, we do use quite a bit of rhubarb, and we are, Nick and I, are considering investing in an apple press. Um and we've actually seen one at um, Killerton House. I don't know if any of you have heard of that in Devon. And they had a demonstration on the weekend and we went to have a look and took some photos and a card of a really nice rhubarb press that they're handmade and they're about 200 quid. Um, so we're thinking so that we can do like, yeah, like Jeez. rhubarb and there's a really nice fizzy drink that we try, rhubarb and apple press, it's delicious. But they don't sell it in Devon. It's like, and it's put it in your chin. Make yeah, your own. I try. Yeah. I did. I did. Gin time. When we went away, I had gin, and I said, "Could I have one of those?" And I put it in. It was delicious. Right. So you've got. Oh, sorry, bumped you. You got these two beds here. Yeah. Um. Again, raised beds. So, looking at things that we haven't got and. Areas where we may not have room on ours. I mean, really, it doesn't look like we are potentially going to be doing any, doing any cabbage on our plot. So, I mean, I wonder if that's something that you should keep because we've grown cabbage. We know how to do it. Mm. You know, we're, we're swapping things because it's like a way of learning how to grow new crops for us. And if we already know how to do it, it's not really... We don't need to swap it, really, do we? So this this bit here is where I've got cabbage at the moment, which like which has got quite a big bed. I've actually got netting and the poles that I bought as um as one thing to fit in this side here. Yeah, so you might where as well I've got keep, keep it. Yeah. yeah. Well, keep it there then. Keep oh, the cabbage. Yeah. You can always do a different type. Cabbage. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we yeah can cabbage that. or cauliflower. Or... That, that's a cauliflower. Cauliflower, that's what we wanted to try, Graham. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you could even do that in one of the raised beds and we can net it over. Yeah, yeah. we could do actually, shall we? Because we yeah. like cauliflower. Yeah. yeah. We not, I, right, I don't so know how hard it is to that over. But... Quite hard, apparently. Well, you've got to give it a go, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a learning curve for both of us. Yeah. The whole family, whole family learning curve. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, but I've completely <coughs> forgotten. So, where's the gooseberry bush? Uh, oh, they've gone. Have, oh, no, 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 no. they're, they're, they're actually. They're here, Mark. No. No. Because we're having two raised beds. Yeah, so actually. Have I missed You've one? missed a bed. Right, because yeah, I was wondering where's the gooseberry bush, and you had like some raspberries somewhere, or they gone? Yeah, where they've, I've taken them away now because they, they just were absolutely yeah. decimated. So the gooseberry bush is really good yeah well they're, they're permanent so they'll stay here or is, i'll just write that there yeah i think it kind of tags onto the, the path <laughs> what do you mean well I, I it's just making up You've that i missed. did the diagram wrong yeah you did <laughs> okay well that goose breeze well, anyway we've definitely got one extra bed okay there okay so what else so we've got this corner one mm. free again where you had the melons last year um it's like a raised bed, isn't it? Why don't you do the moolie in there? 
Oh, I could do actually. Yeah. Yeah, let's do the moonie there. And I tell you what, what I'll do with those other things is put salad crops in there. We can never have enough salad stuff. Can no, because there's, you know. Yeah. Right, so you've got one raised bed there, you've got this whole patch, mm. and mm. your cold frame. I, well, I think you've got the main things that we've kind of grown, so yeah. leave those to if you fancy doing something. Well, at the moment, we've got these Cape gooseberries that were an experiment. Oh, and yeah, they are nice. They are nice, aren't they? Why don't you do up here, or like, or at the back, like, or we'll be able to frame up mm. and do all Cape gooseberries. Down. Yeah, because it's not massively wide, so we could get to them, because they really are delicious. And I must admit, you're pretty good at growing your fruit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, to be honest, we're not sure how much longer they're going to go on fruiting but one of the um viewers said that when they they're like um you can buy them in say well i shouldn't say well sainsbury's anywhere oh. <laughs> heathen language yeah. heathen and there's a little fish. tiny orangey balls that come in almost like a little crispy lantern yeah which is the outer covering and when the they get crispy that's when you pick them really so nice. we've been we have been picking them now they've fairly recently suddenly changed and got really sweet haven't yeah. they yeah. they're delicious well i've had a couple of sweet ones but i've had some sour ones yeah as well, well I mean. tom and i i think like them the most don't we but yeah and then you've got the the cold frame in the corner uh, oh didn't you do shallots i did shallots in there yes this yeah year. we haven't got shallots i mean we haven't got much room there so but i mean i guess it's something else you could do yeah or even do shallots down there yeah as they've already been there. Shallots. I know what we could do. That you could leave that corner. So I'll put up a bit of footage so you can see what we're working with. I think if we update it as well, we'll just mm. make it a bit more, mm. um, you know, so it, it's not falling apart, but it could just do a bit of reinforcement. Mm. Got that square. Why don't you guys suggest what we should put in there? Yes, that's a good idea. Mm. If there's anything unusual or, um, yeah, any something unusual that we could put in there. Yeah. It's probably, I would say, what, five foot square, do you think-ish? Four and a half. I'd foot even square. say it, it's probably slightly bigger than this whiteboard. Yes, yeah, yeah actually. Ever yeah. so slightly. Yeah, so if there's anything that you think, oh yeah, they could grow that, or perhaps they'll grow it and then we can have a look and see if we want to grow it. Yeah. So, um, sensible things, please, not silly things that won't grow or, yeah, made, or made up fruit or veg. Yeah, because we're too huge because to we're allotment noobs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that's pretty much pretty much it then, really. Yeah, I, I, I think I think that's it. So, um, let's uh, I'll get the screenshots up so it should be full screen now, um, and you can see what we're growing next year on on both of our plots technically it's like four plots isn't it because we've both got like two half plots yeah. so in in our allotment world it's, it's four plots but mm. um yeah so this is what we mm. will be growing and like i say if there's any varieties you want to suggest let us know in the comments i'll tell you what we need to do and i think someone asked if we could do it is actually measure our plots yeah so we could measure them and then um, we'll put up how big they are sometime. Here's the measurements. They're, they're up there now because oh, okay. future me has gone up and <laughs> we've measured it. Yeah. Um, so the dimensions are there. We did yeah. measure it in the past and I don't know why we've forgotten it. But, mm -hmm. oh well. Yeah, it's good. That needs sorting out though. Potting shed. I, you know, I think it's going to fall down, don't go underneath it. It's really bad. Well, I tell you what, it's actually, I find myself bumping my head again, so I'm sure it's it's moved again. Well, yeah. I tell you, I was up there yesterday and honestly, it just looks so dangerous, so don't go underneath there. I think you need to it's fix that. Sturdy, I think, no, I don't it's sturdy, it's not high enough. Do it? we need to get like a condemned, like yeah. that tape, like I, danger I, tape? Yeah. No, I, I think that's something you mm. need to sort out yeah. for your mum over there. Maybe. Yeah, it's so handy to keep all my pots and trays and things like that. Mm -hmm. Bring me word and I shall build. <laughs> yes, well, you need to do these 
Is it two or three beds along? Two, two beds. Two beds along there. You've just done your two compost bins. Oh, I know. And they're right. brilliant. We'll be doing those first. I'm going to have to put tape up. Condemn. <laughs> yeah, tape. Should we get that Halloween tape? <laughs> that danger and cool writing. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, yeah, that's it. Um, mm. I know it's been a bit of a talky video, and you know, just sat here discussing things. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I know some of you like the banter and the conversation, and mm. it's fun, isn't it? I mean, this is what we did last year without even filming it. Yeah. Basically. Mm. So. Yeah, and then the, our our next stage, we won't bore you with it. But our next stage is go through the catalogue and. That that takes a just, while. Yeah. But hopefully, yeah, you will give us some. Oh, good variety ideas. Yeah. yeah. And hopefully they'll be in here. Mm. Yeah. It is quite a good catalogue, actually, and there are some quite unusual things in there as well. It's, I, I think um, that's why I got the Cape Gooseberries, wasn't it? I think the it seeds was. From... It's Sutton Seeds. That's the um, the company, yeah. Oh, no, no, it's not Sutton Seeds, no. no. It's King's Seeds. King's Seeds. Yeah, and we, um, I'm pretty sure it's 40 or 50% discount we get because this guy at the site does like a bulk order. Mm. Um, and that's apparently something that I'm going to be taking over next year because he wants to retire. So um, that and uh, joining the allotment committee and doing all their social media and websites now, I'm mm. quite the allotment personnel. Well, yes, except <laughs> when you came up to me and said you need to clear your path, so to <laughs> We'll be cracking those webs, coming over to your plot and saying, Tilly. Mm. Well, there we go. Well, Angel, there. it's looking very... Sh- <laughs> the thing is, it's looking shabby at the moment because the blooming string is packed up. Yeah. So... Mm. Yeah, ours needs to be... Get the scissors out. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, as always, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, yeah, leave comments. Let us know varieties you'd like to see. Uh, any suggestions if you say oh well you grew that there last year you can't do this next year mm. and you know mm. just hints and tips it's always yeah. nice to to read and reply and of course something unusual for that corner yeah the square mm. that, would, that would be good oh and don't forget to share as well if you like our videos and put a big red question mark there mm.